two dressed like penguins doing silver service in the park. <laughs> Madame et Monsieur, your French provincial is ready. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. And I still reckon it's a dirty trick to plan. This. What sort of a trick was it for you to walk out at lunchtime and to start a Joseph's butler service? <laughs> yeah, and there's still my $120 you guys spent on food. Hey, come on. I'm gonna pay you back. Oh, you paid Ernie oh, back, didn't yeah. you? I mean, you tipped it all over his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Martha, what's the word on CJ? The operation go okay? Yeah, sort of. Well, he's all right, isn't he? He will be in time. Well, what does that mean? Well, he's got to have a brain scan tomorrow. Why? He still can't see. All clear, guys. Bottle service, thanks once more, eh? How's that? That's good. Tone, you were saying about us going through this together. I'll be with you every step of the way. So when I get creamed tripe for lunch, you'll eat half, right? Uh. Ta-da! <laughs> Monsieur et Madame, we have bring you a special hospital surprise. What's going on? What's that smell? Ah, oh, monsieur, do not trouble your tiny mind. It is dinner. How did Gerard Jepardieu get in here? Ah, uh, <laughs> relax, you big polycrates, you might. Oh, no. Wonder Woman. CJ, we didn't have a chance to get you an engagement present, but we'd like you to know that you're special. It was a mutual idea. <sighs> you guys are great. You really are. I, I couldn't stand one more meal in here. Uh, say the sentiment and just eat it, all right? Yeah, uh, we'll leave you alone. Don't forget to say grace, huh? <laughs> yeah. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. So, what great friends. Yeah, they are. And guess what? It's... Don't tell me. I know that smell. Nectar of the gods. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe you did that. Just shot him. Bang. Jimmy. The guy I've known since I was a kid dead on my floor. Are you crazy or what? You wanted him dead. What? Listen, pal, it was a test, all right? I ask you to shoot the guy and see if you're loyal enough to say yes and mean it. But I don't expect you to actually pull out a gun and kill him. Not here. Not in front of a bunch of guys in my own living room. Tell you what, though. Scared the hell out of some of those Irish hoons. I couldn't get out of here quick enough. I'm gonna miss Jimmy. You know that? I love the guy. You still there, Tone? Of course. Thought you might have snuck out while I wasn't looking. If that was meant to be a joke, it was really terrible. Give me a break. It takes time to think up good ones. I'll work on it. Don't. Please, don't. I'm the one who's supposed to need cheering up, not you. I'm allowed to be upset. And you know, you don't have to be so brave all the time. You don't want to be stuck with a wimp. CJ, I love you. I'm scared, Tone. More scared than I've ever been. There, I said it. Me too. The longer they keep me in here, the more scared I am they're going to find something really wrong. I don't think I can handle it. I can help you. Um, whatever happens, it happens to the both of us. They'll take the brain scan too, then. <sighs> CJ. Sorry. There you go. Winning the game. Thanks. My pleasure. 
Oh, I know uh, Arnie was playing for Mel over there, but uh, I don't think she's in the mood. Very funny, Frank. Come on, Mel, just kidding. Do you have any idea of what you've done? Leave it, Mel. It's over. Is it, Frank? Or is this psychopath going to finish me off next? Or you? Come on, Mel, you're out of your depth. Really? And what about you, Frank? You just had your best friend killed. You stood over there and watched him die, and now you are celebrating. I think you've lost your mind. Melon. No, don't touch me. I better go. No. You don't have to. Actually, I'm quite interested in what you have to say. I'd like to hear how you kill someone like they're an animal. Tell her, Frank. Hey, don't ask me. I never killed a man in my life. See you. No, damn you. You tell me. Tell me what it feels like to kill someone. Tell me what it's like to kill my best friend. You want to play with boys, lady, you got to learn to play rough. Thank heavens you're here. I woke up and you weren't there. Well, that's because I was here working. I've got and a mouth. Charlie got a tummy ache, didn't you, Charlie? In my tummy. No. And I can't send her to preschool if she's sick. Well, of course not. Tess? No, that's for Mrs. Williams' landlord. And I can't leave her by herself, and I can't leave Tess because she took the place to pieces. Well, why would you be leaving her alone? I've got an appointment I really have to go to. I'd get out of it if I could, but I can't. You don't mind, do you? Mind what? Mind minding them. <laughs> I've got all this work I'll be, to do. You'll be good, won't you, Charlie? And she doesn't need entertaining. She's got her books and her pencils and things. But does need And here's a play lunch and some biscuits for Tess. This is her play lunch. These are the biscuits for Tess. OK? Mm, you're an angel. Bye, darling. <sighs> Nice, that music. Oh, of course not, but you think you could have turned it down a bit? Naughty Tess! Oh, no, Tess! What are you doing? Oh, come on, you! Oh, what? what the... won't be? Oh. See, Dave, careful! Look, I know no. it's frustrating, but your blindness could be caused through neurological damage. That why you've got to have a scan. What if it hurts? It won't. It's just a machine taking photos of your head. How long does that take? Oh, about an hour. I can guess I can last that long. Anyway, I'm a busy guy. I can't hang around here forever. Oh, the orderly's here. We'll help you to your wheelchair. Wheelchair? Since when was I it's crippled? easier this way. You know that. There we are. I'm right, I, I know these things. Are you gonna be here when I get back, Tone? Yeah, of course I will. All right, ready when you are. Good luck. Thank you for being quiet, Charlie. I said I would be. Well, I appreciate it. Charlie? Charlie? Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, and get one of Reggie Beckett's magic pies. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Charlie, what are you doing over here? He gave me a pie. See this hanky I have here? I will soon make it disappear. A disappearing hanky. Oh. Look, I'm trying to work over there, you know? You must fail down. Try one of my pies of renown. It'll chase away that frown. <laughs> <laughs> Quick as a wink. 
a pie that's pink. Look, I don't want a pie. All I want is this music to stop. Charlie, you know better than to talk to strangers. Yes. Or walk around with flowers behind your ears. <laughs> Hey, Jamie, you're babysitting, mate. No, I'm trying to work, but it's impossible with this musical pie cart blaring. Oh, oh. You look good in blue. Uh, thank you. <laughs> What's this in your pocket? <laughs> this will run like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to move him along or not? Uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to show me your license, please. Oh, before I do, try one of my magic pies. Here's one for you. It's black and blue. <laughs> Max! Uh, no, I'm terribly sorry. It's going to have to be the other way around, sir. Your license, please. Oh, right. I'm afraid it's no use. A license I just can't produce. Oh, right. Well, unfortunately, that's the end of the show. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. No, no. Yes. Sorry, you have to come with me. Sorry. What a beautiful. I feel terrific. Ready to take on the world, you know? What a beautiful. I feel terrific. Ready to take on the world, you know? Oh. It's gonna be good having Jack around, don't you reckon? Poor Jimmy. Nice guy, but weak. And when you think about it, not too smart. He was your friend. He loved you. Please, I'm getting sick of you, Mel. Jimmy was trying to rip me off. He betrayed me, so he gets punished. What makes you so virtuous? I don't kill people. No, but you are an accessory to murder before and after the fact. You understand? I don't hear you. Yes, I understand. Good. And while we're at it, I'm sick of all the games, OK? Leave and stay and leave and stay and ay, ay, ay. From now on, we do it my way. When I say stay, you stay. OK? And part of playing it my way means being very nice to Jack. Understand? Look up to it. What'd you get up to last night? Couldn't have been anything good, not with a hangover like that. Is this an official investigation or what? No, not at the moment. So I'm free to get breakfast? From a bottle, no doubt. You got a problem with that? Take my advice. See that I don't. I hate to think I was being harassed here, Sergeant. All I know is that you're heading for a fall, son. And when you do, and your sort always do, I'll be there. Finished? Yeah, for the moment. Have a nice day, sir. Hey, don't look so sad. You can't be bad. No sins to confess. You're a good girl, Tess. How did you know the dog's name was Tess? Just a guess. More or less. Ah, a pie with a T on it. Must be long to test. There you are, Tess. Look, this is all well and good. How about you check up on his license? I would if I knew his name, mate. Would you care to partake of a pie? Absolutely not. Oh, cops are neat. Little girls are sweet. Puppies are a treat. But lawyers, they're mean. So your pie is green. <laughs> Why don't you just ask him his name? Jamie, I'm so sorry, I'm late. I was... Who are you? Sippo's the name and pies <laughs> are my game. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> All right, Zippo. Why don't you just tell the officer here your full name, then we can get on with things. Zippo the Clown, of course. <sighs> right, Max, you heard him. Run a check on Zippo the Clown. Mmm, that smells delicious. Yum! Yeah. Yeah. Ah, a beautiful lady like you. You should have two. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going shopping. And? I need some money. Get the lady some cash. Hey, you look gorgeous. I'm glad you approve. It's nice to see you learning a bit of style. But then again, with me as a teacher, how can you go wrong? Thank you. Mm. Well, I'll see you later. You've forgotten something. So I have. You can do better than that. Better. Hey, while you're out dropping at the pub, eh? Ask Jack to join us for dinner at Gambino's. What for? I feel like celebrating. I thought you did that last night. I want to do it again. And while you're there, apologize to the guy, okay? Why? for last night, for being so unattractive. Thanks. That's all the help I'll need. I'm home. I'll be fine. You're going to find things a bit difficult at first. I can show you new ways of doing things, if you like. Thanks, but I appreciate the thought, Martha. You've forgotten two things. One, this blindness is only temporary. Two, this is my joint. I know it like the back of my hand. I'd still feel happier if I could show you how... Just to... bear with me and I'll demonstrate. Uh, CJ, you don't have to do that. Tone, just point me in the direction of the kitchen. Thanks. Now, observe. See? I, I know every nook and cranny. I've opened the door. Right. The kitchen, no problems. Okay. The table, the sink, and if I'm not mistaken, the fridge. And inside the fridge, aha, as I thought, no food. This must be my fridge. <laughs> You gotta do something about that cheap cologne, honey. Can't afford it now, Frank. <laughs> the rest of the 30 grand. Oh, thanks. It's all there. I know it is, honey. I trust you. I trust you too, Frank. And I'm a good loser, and I've never told a lie in my life. A little bitter and twisted this morning, mate. Yeah, I'm annoyed, Frank. Aren't you? Your best mate, Jimmy, gets shot before your eyes, and you're sitting here making yourself beautiful. You are a sore loser. Yeah, but it's only money. It's the important things I'm worried about, Frank. You're talking in riddles, Arnie. Do you trust this Jack Brown? Sure. It's a long friendship, is it? He's proven himself, Arnie. He's a killer, Frank. We don't hang around killers. No. We've had the occasional stoush. We bend the law, but we don't go around shooting people. You ought to start looking at yourself, Frank. Don't you worry about me, Arnie. I've seen what I look like. I like what I see. It's a simple game, but never the same. The colour will be the next pie you see. Blue! Orange! Wrong for now, but don't ask how. <laughs> Try again. It won't be in vain. <laughs> Look, how about playing the game where you tell us your name? Your real name? 
because there isn't a license on the Zippo of the Cloud. Jamie, these pies are heaven. You want to try one? Teddy, I have got to get my office back to normal so I can do some work. The people around here need me. I want your real name immediately. I know. And I want you to do your job. Hey, I don't know his name. How can I check his license if I don't know his name? I don't know it, but arrest him for uh, bad rhymes or poly malfeasance or something. Just get him out of here. I know his name. Your child seems to have made a remarkable recovery. I know, and you know what? I think it has a lot to do with Mr. Zippo here. Look, all I want is to get my office back to normal so I can do some work. Please, tell me your name. I know his name. You do? Of course. It's Reggie Bucket. <laughs> well, why did you say so before? Reggie Bucket, maker of pies, seller of dreams, at your eternal service. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not here because I want to be. But you couldn't resist, right? <laughs> Frank wants you to meet him at Gambino's at one o'clock for lunch. And seeing as you're on the payroll now, don't be late. You gonna be there? That's what Frank wants, so that's what Frank gets. But to be honest with you, Jack, the thought of sitting across a table from you makes me sick. Don't touch me! It's not what you said last time you came here. Learn how to treat a lady, would you? You going CJ? Hold that. Chips. Oh, thanks. This is really great, guys. Junk food two days in a row. I feel better already. That's the idea. Would you like me to um, change the channel? No, no, I like listening to these pictures. They're terrific. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do you want to do? Like a foot rub? Hmm. No, thanks. If my feet are anything like I remember them, you'd want a divorce, not a marriage. <laughs> I don't mind. You would if you saw them. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? That's what we're here for. I've got to learn to do things for myself so I don't have to depend on you guys all the time. It's no trouble. Yeah, well... I'm only going to be blind for a little while. So, hey, why not learn some skills in the meantime? OK, so where do we start? Right here. We're going to map the house. Why? It's obvious. If I can't find it, I can't do it. And I won't find it unless I map it. Yeah, it sounds sensible to me. Yeah, well, of course it's sensible. First there was Cook. Then there was Livingston. Now... There's Jones. But if things get too hard, you can't feel bad about asking for help. We promised, remember? Hey, it's OK, Tone. This is CJ. Nothing's ever too hard. Gentlemen, down your ropes. Oh, it's OK. Great technique, Jack. I've been in sight. Still learning, OK? Well, how about learning with someone else? Why? Well, you know who she is, don't you? Sure I do. Yeah. Frank Farantino. And you know Farantino? Should do. Just offer me a job. You already got a job. I ain't scrubbing boats for the rest of my life. Why not? It's good money. Don't matter if you like it. Why is it too hard? What do you reckon? You're crazy, Jack. You get yourself into more trouble than you know. Don't tell me what to do, Bob. And what about going straight? I thought that's what you said you wanted to do. Did I? I mean this, Jack. Don't get involved with Farentino. Give us a break, Bob. I got a lunch date. Well? I'm sorry, Reggie, but there's 60 convictions against your name for selling pies without a license. Ha! As I thought. Now you can arrest him, get him out of here, and I can get back to work. You can't arrest Reggie. Yeah, and I don't particularly... Listen, I'll tell you what, Reggie. How about you go and apply for a licence and don't sell any pies until you get it, and we'll forget about this, OK? No, we certainly cannot. I mean, that young man is correct. I've broken the law, and I should be arrested. He can't. He cares about a licence. He hasn't done anything wrong. And I, I don't want to arrest him. OK, OK. Don't arrest him. Just get him out of here, will you? 
But you must. I mean, what sort of an example are we selling this young lady if you let me flout the laws of the land? Well, I don't think selling a couple of pies is all that bad, you know, Reggie. No, I insist. Arrest me. For heaven's sakes, Max. Arrest him and get on with it. Well, uh, if you're sure you don't mind. No, 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 I don't mind. I don't mind being arrested. But uh, I do not want to go to jail. So I will need legal representation. Young man, do you mind? You're a good girl, Mandy. Part of gold, right? I'm glad you think so, Frank. Yeah, maybe it's time I took you off the streets and put you back into one of the good clubs. Remember Jack Brown? Sure, I remember Jack. Nice guy. Not interrupting yeah. anything, am I? Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, is that a new necklace? I told you I was going shopping. Yeah. Glad to see you spending my money so well. Drink? Why not? Another one of them. You hungry? Well, I'm here. That's all that matters, isn't it? No, no. What really matters is that Jack Brown's coming. Did you invite him? Don't I always do what I'm told? Eventually. So? So he's coming. You'd be a fool not to. So where is he, Mel? Three, four and stop. I've oh, twenty left. That's it. And off you go. Five, six and stop. And there you are. The front door! Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's six steps to the front door from the arm of the couch at right angles. Six steps uh, to the front door from the arm of the couch at right angles. Totally committed to memory. Good. Now where? Uh, front door to TV. Okay, turn your back to the doorway. And off you go, straight forward. One, two, remember this? Two steps turn. forward. Three, four. Mine the couch on your right. Five. Yeah. Six, seven, eight. And stop. That's it, turn to your right. And go. Nine. Ten. Stop. Turn to your left. That's it. Bend down. The television, right. All right. Go further down on your right. And switch on. Oh, good. And um, adjust the oh. volume before the neighbours complain. That's it. You got it. Uh, easy. Nothing to it. Okay. So we've got the couch. Uh, stereo. Mm -hmm. Front door. Uh, and TV. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Okay. I think we've covered most of the important things. But not the most important thing. Tony, where are you? I'm here. Um. By the couch, nearest the door. Right. Two. One. Two. Here I come. Three. Four. Five. How am I doing? Doing great. It's <laughs> great. Could we order now? No. Jack's not here. Stop being so rude and be a good girl like Mandy. If we wait all night, it's because you didn't make the invitation clear to Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Do you think we could talk about something else? Jack's a good man. You be a good girl and maybe I'll talk nice about you. Mm. Jack, glad you could join us. Should have told you not to bother dressing up. He looks fine to me. Jack doesn't need to impress anyone here. Sit. You two know each other? Jack. It's good to see you. I was beginning to think Melanie here couldn't be relied upon to deliver a simple message. She did real good. Well, she does lots of things real good. Yeah? Yeah, she shops, she, uh... Oh, I don't know. What do women do, Jack? I don't know. What else do you do, Melanie? Can we eat now? Melanie? It's rude not to answer a question. I'm nice to Frank. That's what I do. Isn't that enough? More than enough for me, darling. 
Wouldn't it be more than enough for you, Jake? Is that an offer? <laughs> Not this early in the morning, are they? Okay, Mr. Bucket. Have you got any other convictions you'd like to tell me about, ap apart from the ones we've already detailed? Other convictions? Yes, it's in your best interest to tell me. The prosecutor's bound to bring them up, and it's best if we're prepared. Of course, yes. Uh, yes, you're prepared, or yes, you've got more convictions. Convictions? I've got hundreds of them. Well, would you mind giving me some details? Uh, unauthorised peddling in Echuca. Unauthorised peddling in the uh, Federation March in Moree. <laughs> uh -huh. That's peddling pies, I take it. Oh, what else would a pieman peddle? Providing victuals unauthorised in Bendigo. Yeah. And then there was the Eureka Stockade. Uh, that was a setup, that was. The Eureka Stockade? Yes, there were a lot of hungry men there, I can tell you. <coughs> but the Eureka Stockade was last century. Um, that was 1854. Yes, time flies. Uh, hang on, that'll make you 138. Oh, only if I was a baby at the time, which I wasn't. So how old were you? Well, I remember I had my 21st birthday the year before. What? That'd make you 160 years old. <laughs> Carry it well, don't I? <laughs> How's the lobster? Good. Looks dry to me. I said it was good. Dry, like I thought. The man's lobster too dry. Get him another one. And this time get him to cook it right. And I'll have another bowl of this French stuff. I'm thirsty. Did you have to do that? If I'm paying for good service, I want to see it. We didn't have to cause such a scene. Jack's got a discerning palate. Why take second best when you're paying for first? You wouldn't know the difference. Oh. I think Melanie's getting a bit uh, embarrassed. So my money, but when I want to spend it, that's different. Yeah, well, you throw it around like an idiot. <laughs> well, well. Now, isn't this fascinating? The little country hick wants to teach me some manners. This is the kid I picked up playing nurses in some country hospital, showed her the good life. And the rest? Didn't even know what champagne was, let alone how to pronounce it. You'd think she'd be a little bit more appreciative of what I did for her. Oh, all out of the goodness of your heart, I'm sure. Just so it happens that you bought me, Frank. Just like everything else that you want. Yeah, well, it's just as well I did. Otherwise, you'd still be in Hicksville filling up the sheep. No one can be 160 years old. Where do you use? Oh, thank you for your faith, Charlie. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me, I wonder if you mind discussing this alone. I'd like to use the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, OK. It's just around there. Oh. 160 years old? What kind of idiots does he think we are? He looks very old. Yeah. Uh, not that old, sweetheart. Maybe he's not all there. He actually thinks he's 160. Well, we haven't had any reports of people missing from old people's homes, so... Maybe he's just speaking in riddles again. Ah! Oh, let him go out there alone. I don't care how old he is. I like him. So do I. Me too. Sort of makes you think that when you get old, he's the sort of person you'd like to be. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, well, I never really wanted to arrest him in the first place. <laughs> yeah, but what if he is a bit, you know, loopy? He shouldn't be out of there on his own. What's this? What oh, it can't be. What? It's a miner's licence made out to Reggie Buckets, dated 1862. He really is that old? Impossible, he'd be dead. That means he must be a ghost. There's no such thing. Who says? Mm, you got a better explanation? OK, that's fine. From the kitchen to the TV, 
That's two steps to the swinging door. Then... I'll get it. Hey, no, you don't. What do you think I've been doing all this practice for? <sighs> One, two, turn, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi, CJ. It's me, Mark. What do you know? I got here without a mistake. Oh, the guys have been helping me find my way around the house. Good. Well done. Are they the results of the scan? Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see you later, CJ. Hey, okay, uh, what for? I don't want you guys finding out what's inside my head. Uh, we found out long ago. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, Martha, is it good news? Well, there's good news, yes. And there's other. Take the good news first. Well, the CAT scan shows that there's nothing neurologically wrong with you. Oh, fantastic. There's no damage to the optic nerve. So if there's nothing wrong, why can't I see? We don't know exactly. Uh, there's a type of blindness that can be caused by a shock or trauma. Something more than being hit by a car. Yeah, sort of like that. For some reason, your brain has decided it doesn't want to see. It doesn't want to decode the messages. Your eyes are sending it. So I'm not really blind? Is that what you're saying? Well, it's real for you, of course. It's just that we can't pinpoint the cause. So when's my brain going to get it together? I want to see, even if it doesn't. Well, because there's nothing neurologically wrong with you, it's hard to say. Your sight might come back tomorrow. Or? Or never. You're saying if I wanted to see, I could? No, no, not quite. It's not that simple. But you said my mind doesn't want to see. So it's my fault. No, it's not your fault. This is crazy. They can't find what's wrong, so they're trying to pin the blame on me. No one's blaming you. Well, you heard Martha, you could be better tomorrow. I heard what else she said, too. Well, you know how your mind can play tricks on you? I, I know you don't want to be blind, but maybe... I don't know, maybe your subconscious is... Oh, since when did you become a doctor? Mate, she's only trying to help. We all are. Yeah, well, I can do without it, all right? Just leave me alone. You don't mean that, CJ. I do. Now, please go, all of you. I don't think it's a good idea you should be left on your own. But just because I'm blind doesn't mean I can't make decisions. Now, please, go, all of you. How many times do I have to say okay, it? Hey, mate, we're going. Chick, eh? <laughs> she saves the best scenes up for when the food costs 500 bucks a throw. If it was hamburger and chips, she'd be sitting there like an angel. She hates you, Frank. Yeah, she loves me. Whatever you say. Yeah, whatever I'd say. You want her? Another time, eh? Get out of here, Ruth. Get a cab. Thanks, Frank. Hi, Jack. Nice girl. But I reckon we'll do better without the ladies tonight, Jack. What do you reckon? Better than mine. Oh, a bit of drinking, tell a few lies, talk a bit of business, a bit more drinking. Sounds like my type of night. Which is why you're my type of guy. To you and me, Jack, good times, bad girls, long life. Hmm. <laughs> And here's to Melanie. May her love for me grow even stronger. <laughs> oh, get a hold of yourself. 
yourself, Craig Jones. You're wimping out. Time to get on with it. Now, how many steps was it? Three or four? Lost it this time, Tone. I mean it. Oh, we'll get through this together. I promise. <laughs> hey! Fuck that! I know. Slow down. Oh, Arnie. What are you doing here? I could ask the same. No offense, kid, but you look terrible. One round too many with Frank, I think. Yeah? Who won? Come on, the least I can do is give you a lift home. I, I don't bite. Thanks. Ah, uh, you guys. You only fight so you can have the fun of making up. Not this time. I've had it up to here with that man. You'll get over it. Now he's pushed me too far. He has to learn that he cannot do this to me. So you really want to stick it to him, huh? Yeah, I do. You could knock him off. <laughs> Maybe I should. Hey, I was only joking. I wasn't. up on the very latest goings on at Falcon Crest next here on Sky One. Then blackmail is the name of the game, but is it ruined?